expelled from the Labour Party. Ah. <laughs> should Ken Livingston be expelled? Uh, I wonder who we should go to on this first. <laughs> Diane Abbott. There is an argument for... Yes, no. <laughs> yes or no? There's an argument for talking less about Ken Livingstone because he actually enjoys it. But what I would... <laughs> OK? But what I would say is this. Ken's insistence on making totally spurious and hurtful and hate-mongering links between Hitler and Zionism has appalled most of us in the Labour Party. And what's worse, he keeps on repeating it. He keeps on repeating it. it, it, I, it I do not have a say of whether he gets expelled, but he's coming up once again before our NCC, who are the Labour Party body which decides on these things. And why weren't they able to decide this time? Why do they have to do it all over again? Be the third time it's been up. Well, I think you have it to appreciate... No, it doesn't say anything about the Labour Party. It says a lot about Ken. Yeah. It says no, a on. lot about no. Ken Livingston. But, but, but Diana just explained that the NEC takes the decision. No, it's your Labour Party, the NEC. What? NCC. NCC. Yes, and they yeah. take the decision. The right Why did they take the decision they did? Well, I didn't see the evidence in front of them, but you have to be... You've just you... described the evidence. You said no, you... no, 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 no. I didn't, see, I didn't see the entire evidence. Ken is prepared to go to court. They clearly didn't feel they had a strong enough case. But, but it's going to come back in front of the committee. But let's be clear, the Labour Party is appalled by... It's not just what Ken has said, but he's kept repeating it. And if... Yes or no? If he is expelled from the party, he... And, you know, let's be clear. Do you think he should be expelled? Can you be clear, please? If Ken is expelled from the party, he will have brought it on himself. I don't think you're going to get the answer, yes or no. Gerard yeah. yeah. Coyne. Shall I answer you're the question? A, what, what's your view? Yes, he should go. <laughs> OK. And, and why, comment, why, why, why do you think he hasn't? His comments are an affront to the six million Jews who lost their lives and their families in the Holocaust. So, Gerard, what, what's yeah, gone wrong? What's gone wrong in the Labour Party that he hasn't In relation gone? to the, the Labour Party and the Labour movement, there is an issue about anti-Semitism. During my campaign to stand for General Secretary of the United Union, I've been subjected to uh, hate crime as a result of speaking to a Jewish newspaper. Now, that is a real issue, and if we don't deal with it and we don't send a clear message, as was said uh, by the member of the audience, he has to go and we should show him the door and, Diane, we have to kick him out. OK. Um, <laughs> all right, Tim Farron, have you a brief now? We've only got a couple of minutes. Uh, yes, he should go. Uh, I, it's very clear that whether Ken is an anti-Semite or not, his rhetoric undoubtedly breeds exactly the kind of thing that Gerard is talking about and gives people on the far right too sucker to believe it's OK to say this kind of stuff. A final thing is this, maybe this is too generous, it's actually quite sad, because whatever you think of his politics, he was a pretty good mayor of London. This was a relatively, a relatively serious man who will now be remembered as somebody who is some kind of borderline racist. What a massive tragedy. Well, has he changed since you worked for him in, in, in the... Hmm? I'm afraid... Are we once an admirer and not now? No, I mean, Ken, Ken actually was a great mayor of London. Um, he really was. And it's very sad for those who have known him for decades to see what has happened. But when Gerard says that the, La the Labour Party has a problem with institutional racism, I'm sorry that you feel I didn't the say need racism, to I said attack or institutional anti-Semitism, because it's one and the same. When you say the Labour Party has a problem with institutional anti-Semitism racism, I'm sorry you feel the need to attack your party. I'm proud of the Labour Party's record on fighting racism and anti-Semitism, and that's why I feel Ken Livingstone needs to be dealt with, hopefully, with right. a little less talking about it. I'd have been the Labour Party if it dealt with this issue properly. All right, uh, Suella, briefly, because yeah. this is a Labour uh, Party issue, yeah, perhaps, absolutely. more than a Conservative But I think he's actually bigger than Ken Livingstone. He should apologise and he should definitely be expelled. They've had a long problem with anti-Semitism. Oh. Last year, Shami Chakrabarti wrote a report about anti-Semitism. It was roundly denounced as a whitewash by all the Jewish Have groups. You read it? And, um, and what happened? Have she was rewarded it, with a peerage. Yeah. That just sends a toxic message that it's OK. But I think the bigger Have problem is Jeremy it? Corbyn himself. Oh. When he says he's friends with Hamas and Hezbollah, oh. he is yeah. portraying a deliberate lack of moral leadership. And that's what I think is really the cause right. of it. He needs to develop a backbone and take 
take action to show that zero tolerance is, is actually a reality, not an illusion. All right, I have to bring this programme to an end, but you haven't said a word. You want to speak briefly on this well, point? Just say yes, you... I do think he should be expelled. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to make political points out of this. Um, but I think there is a, an issue that we have to address as a country around anti-Semitism and the rise in hate, and we have to face up to that. I don't believe that the, the referendum, going back to the referendum, was the cause of the rise in hate crime. It was like the genie came out of the bottle, and it's about decades of right. governments whipping up and allowing this sentiment and not challenging it head on and not challenging it hard enough, and we're reaping what we've sown. Michelle? So I think there's a broader question that we must address as a country. Um. I think that the Labour Party is letting people down so much now in so many different ways and this is just another example of it. I think that um, if you think that somebody's done something wrong um, and they're um, deemed to have done something wrong, Are there should be consequences. An you saying no, Ken is an anti -seamer? I think he's bringing your party Are into you, disrepute. Do you think he's an anti -seamer? I think he's... It doesn't matter. It does he's matter. bringing your party into disrepute. Your party is currently a jerk for numerous different reasons. This is just one of them. And I just think you've got to get some credibility, some backbone. He shouldn't be there. And I'm All sure right. you know that as well as I'm gonna I have to, I'm going to have to stop this because our time is up. I'm sorry about that. Um, thank you all very much. And apologies to those who have your hands up. I know you want to speak on this. You can't go on, but <laughs> you, you, you can, but afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> question time. Question time is going to be back after Easter. We take a two-week break now. We'll be in Oxford on the April the 27th. Wigan after that, uh, the week after that. So if you want to come and take part in either of those two programmes, the website address is on the screen and the telephone number 0330123 9988. Five.